when Ratchanok Intanon hit the headlines by becoming Thailand's first ever world junior champion in women's singles in 2009 and the country's first world champion in 2013, the school where she learned the nuances of badminton was thrown into the limelight. Bantong Yacht Badminton School became one of the most sought-after badminton academies in Bangkok. The reason I came here was because when I was 12, I saw P. May become the world champion. I initially came only on Sundays to train. I began to like it. The training had helped to keep my body fit and increase the speed of my game. The young Kunlavut Vititsan also created history for both the school and for Thailand. He became the kingdom's first world junior champion in men's singles when he won the title this year. And the school hopes that their latest young protégé will emulate their prized student. I am very happy because this title is Thailand's first title in men's singles. It is history in the making. Nong Vu is only 16 years old and if he can maintain his standard and keep raising his game, he will be able to make it like Rachanok by winning the title three times in a row. Situated an hour's drive from the bustling city centre of Bangkok, Bang Tong Yacht Badminton School took shape in 1992. A small operation with little resources, it has now taken a life of its own, with more than 300 shuttlers coming through its doors, and the school has since secured stronger financial backing. We have more sponsors now, both individuals and businesses, that value the importance of Bang Tong Yok Badminton School. They also value our intention and understand our purpose why we founded this school. Of course, there's no way we can be the best, but we will continue to improve in sports science and nutrition. We will also continue to upgrade our coaches and provide the means to our players to compete in tournaments so that we can produce good athletes. Despite its growth in size and accolades, the school still maintains its core family values where players feel at home. One current example was when their women's singles ace Ratchanok Intanon was struggling to return to form after a stretch of winless runs that lasted over a year. She attributed her comeback to the encouragement and support from both her own family and the badminton school. There were many times when I received encouragement and support from the school. As athletes, you sometimes expect too much of yourself, and sometimes you don't achieve what you set out to do. There are times in a game you feel that you have to struggle with yourself, which is different from competing with the opponents. That certainly adds more pressure to yourself when you're on court. But you have your family who loves you, and a club that is like part of your family. So win or lose, they're always there to support you. Generally, we live together like a family. When there is any problem, we can all feel it. We will talk about it. We know many of these players since they were children, so we kind of understand each other. Winning and losing are common in all types of sport. There are times when athletes underperform or their physical condition is not at its peak. However, athletes like me, for example, are responsible and know what they have to do. So that is why we will also do our part to support them. What is also important is that this school is founded by my mother because of her love for badminton. Even though we had to take bank loans, we just hope that one day we will be able to produce athletes for Thailand, a world champion and an Olympic champion. We have achieved part of that, but we still have more to do. We will continue to do this out of love for the sport. From humble beginnings to a giant in the country, Bantong Yacht Badminton School will no doubt grow from strength to strength 
As it continues tirelessly, the good work it started so many years ago in nurturing the next generation of Thai shuttlers.